compatriots, it has been a long road since that watershed general election in 1994 that marked the collapse of racist white rule, the defeat of apartheid colonialism by the South African people was one of the greatest achievements of humankind. We turned our backs on a system of governance that had been declared a crime against humanity and which had dehumanized black people and turned them into pariahs in the land of their birth. One of the best descriptions of life under racist minority rule is contained in an article published on the 25th July, 1953, by ANC leader Reverend Selopetema. He wrote, and I quote, in those days, the black man was treated as a beast of burden. He was knocked and kicked about with impunity. In the magistrate's courts, his voice was hardly heard and his evidence hardly believed. He was stopped at street corners by policemen demanding the protection of his pass and his tax receipt. He was not allowed to walk on the pavements and had to dodge motor cars in the streets. He was not allowed to travel first, second, or third class on the trains. He traveled in trucks almost similar to those used for cattle and horses. Politically, he had no voice in the making and administration of the laws. Economically, he was kept in a state of abject poverty, unquote. 